had a little bit of fresh snow. So I decided it's a good time to go in the garage and warm up and work on the airplane. Hello everybody and welcome back to the King Fox channel. My name is Matt Conniger and I'm building a Kit Fox Model 7 STI. Today's video, I'm going to be throwing the seat pan in or getting it fitted in the aircraft. So let's get into the video. All right, setting the seat pan in the fuselage just uh, for the first time. You can see many things that are going to need to be trimmed. Doesn't quite fit in between there. I have to trim all the corners and the areas that where the where the tubing meets up with it. Same thing on the pilot side. And here in the center, where it touches the center console, obviously the tolerances are a little different, so I'm gonna have to make some marks on the seat pan, pull it out, cut some things, and then set it back in there and see if it fits. And I assume that this bar goes directly underneath here. It obviously needs to go back a little further. Got some clearance down there. Uh, looking underneath. Let's get to cutting or marking and then cutting and see what we can do about this thing. All right, I'm gonna start with a pencil and just see how the markings transfer over. You probably don't need to do any cutting on the side at all. It's like it'll just bend and slide in once I get it fitted. I'm going to pull it out of the fuselage and grab the handy dandy Dremel and do a little cutting. After doing a little research online, I did find a nice work table that hopefully I can replace this one with that uh, is a little bit taller, better work height instead of having to bend over all the time. All right, step one, number 144 there says, cut the excess material off the seat pan, leaving just enough so that the edge of the pan rolls over the fuselage tubes, but will let the seat pan be lifted out with no interference, sand smooth any roughness from the cutting operation. So we'll do that. Getting ready for the rudder cable installation tomorrow, so hopefully I can get my swaging tool and get those in. And the book does say to use a file. Um, seems like filing a lot of that material off is going to take a long time, but I'm going to try it first with the file and see how it goes. If not, I'm going to break out the trusty Dremel. slow and steady. The file didn't work too bad, but I think I'm gonna try the Dremel anyway and see how that works. Just nibble away at it a little bit. Just gonna put on my hearing protection and my iPro and maybe a respirator.
All right, guys, in time lapse, you can see me filing, and, and I went over on my cuts here a little bit in the corners, but right now I'm just trying to get it roughed in, basically, so I'm going to set it back in the fuselage and see if it fits in there good. Uh, I will say that working with the fiberglass at first, I was treating it like it was literally a piece of glass, which technically is, but uh, it sands very nicely, and, and working with the file, even though the Dremel's faster, working with the file is actually quite rewarding as far as rounding over a corner or taking taking off some of the sharp little bits that are on there and, and I just briefly hit it with the 220 along the edges and it it uh, tidied it up quite nicely so I've got a blemish up here in this corner I'm not sure if you can see that but right over here once you once you get in there with the sandpaper you can I can pretty much buff all that right out so and then uh, I just watched seven kilo fox he said that there's gonna be um, fabric over the top of that so if, you know, depending on your upholstery package that you got, you could, even if you scuff it up, I think you could uh, hit it with some finer sandpaper, like this 220 is doing a really good job on the edges right now. But if I hit that with, if I went a little more aggressive with some 80 maybe, just to get those rough edges off, some 100, 150, 220, and got up to the, the 400, 600, 800, I'm pretty sure you'd get a nice polished finish, kind of like this has when Kit Fox sends it to you. And then I... I guess if you wanted to and you wanted to put some gloss paint on it, you could probably gloss it up because I think the white would actually be a nice accent against my upholstery with the gray and the red and the black in there. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna set this in the fuselage and see if it fits now with uh, these notches. I just cut a notch up on the both backs, uh, filed down the corners a little bit on the front edges and this was hitting up against the center console. So I'm gonna try to leave this piece here. I don't know if it's necessary, but if it covers up the screws on the top of the center console, I'll probably have to remove it. So, but for now, I just left that there. So let's see if it fits. All right, it doesn't quite fit. Um, this covers up the two screws on the top of the center console, which I'll show you. These two screws over here. So I think I'm just gonna hollow it back out. I'm gonna bring it back, bring it back to that line. So it's got some support on top of the, the bar that runs behind it, but basically allows me access to those two screws in case I have to remove something in the future. And then I notched here, like over here, because as you can see, those these bars here come down at an angle and geometry isn't my strong point. But uh, basically where it gets to this point, I have to go straight up to make sure that it that it fits in there. So these are gonna be a little bit bigger than I wanted, but yeah, I'll bring it up, follow that pencil line, round it out, do the same thing over here, and then set it back in. But the front seems to fit in there really well, especially with that corner and that corner over there being filed down nicely. So and these, uh, these top pieces, everything fits in good on both sides. So I'll hack away at this and that piece up front there and do a little sanding and test fit it again. All right, it's in. So, fit and finish. Right now I'm looking pretty good on, on my marks here. This one, a little wide, but what do you do? Um, these are the, the larger gaps. Uh, anyway, I probably need to, I'll, I'll sand that out a little bit. And it is hitting up here on the top, in the front, around this way. You can see, once we put a little pressure on it, so I'll sand that out because sanding is pretty easy and I can make a nice radius with my finger and some sandpaper. And I'm hitting that weld there. But for now it's in. Let's go around to the other side. Take a look at this side. Good up here in the corner. That's, uh, that's perfect. I think I'm gonna leave that one. And this one, I think I did a better job. That's sitting down. Nope, not quite. It is so I'll get my finger in there with some sandpaper on it and uh, get that guy sanded up and then up here so I'm hitting well I'm not hitting 
So as we can see, there's screws there for the floorboards. And if I let this come all the way in and down, it's gonna cover them up. So, there it is, nice and quiet. Um, so I'm gonna get into the instructions a little bit more and move on to the next steps because I have to cut some slots for seat belts, probably on the pan, both sides, and in the center. There's, I think, looks like one in the picture, but I'm gonna look into that. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around for today's video. Um, I'm trying to get down to the way where I can do a video on one thing, but as usual, some things got in the way today, so I had to run, go get some parts. Um, so on page 64 here, section H, seat pan installation, I've got nine steps, and I got four of the four of the nine completed. I think the rest, I have to cut some holes in for the seat belt in, uh, in both sides of the pan, and I actually completed a few other steps out of order, not knowingly, but I did that when I was, you saw me doing the corners on the seat pans on the edges because obviously it doesn't fit right in the airplane, you have to notch around some things. So I did those steps a little bit out of order. So tomorrow I'll be doing the notch in the seat pan for the clearance with the control sticks. Definitely have to do that. And I gotta cut this front piece. I'm not sure if it's supposed to cover up the front of the, the top of the floorboards because if you wanna take the floorboards out, you probably don't wanna have to take the seat pan out also. But at the same time, I, I don't wanna do any more cutting on it than I need to. So I might reach out to Brandon and see what he's got to say on that. Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.